Hello everyone. Here you are with Claro Beauty and Life. Um, I should add that to the title somewhere, right? Because I do talk about makeup and then I add a little bit about my day or or um, or what's going on or uh, or something like that. So Claro Beauty and Life. So thank you very much for watching. Today we're going to talk about Westman Atelier. Now, I thought I would start by doing a full face since I have most of her products and, uh, and show you a little bit the differences. So, let's start. Uh, I will be talking about the foundation. Well, she calls it Vital Skin Foundation Stick. And I have two colors. I have Atelier N and Atelier One. I think this is the, the lightest chair she has. Now in her video, she explains that the best thing is to mix a couple of the sticks so it will look very natural because our skin obviously has different shades. Um, and so she recommends to use several to look very natural. And um, so I bought this too. The end is a little cooler for me, uh, so I don't use it that much. I do use Atelier One almost every day, I would say, because it's an exact match and to my skin. And interesting, like right now I have a fair skin, right? I mean, a uh, just wash face. And so I will use it to cover the reds under the eye you know, and kind of leave it like that, even to go to the gym or to just go outside or whatever. That's what I would do. And today I'm gonna do a little bit more than that, just so I can show you a full face, but this is perfect for that. So I really recommend uh, if you can find your shade on this foundation. It takes a little while to get used to it because it's not like the usual foundations if you're used to, like the cream, you know, you put it, you put a sponge or a brush, no. This is, well, you'll see, I'll show you. So I have these two colors. Then I have the contour or shade. Um, she calls it Face Trace Contour Stick. And this is on Biscuit. Um, she might've just come with a second shade, but when I bought this not too long ago, um, the originals, this was the one shade she had. Um, and she also had this highlighter, which is called Lead Up. It's the color Lead Up because it's the original, but it's called uh, Lead Up Highlighter Stick. So I bought those two. Later, she come up with other colors and I did add it Nectar. This is a highlight uh, and it has a little peachy to it. Uh, but even though I'm fair, this is very light and it just gives you that kind of tint to it. You will see because I will use both. I also will show you, um, you know, blushes and I have three. I have Doodoo, I have Petal and I have Poppy. This is Poppy and I think, which one is Doodoo? Let's see. This one, this one is Doodoo. And this one is petal. Okay. Um, then we will talk about the bronzer and what color cop the soleil. I love this bronzer. It was very interesting because I have purchased many bronzers trying to find one that will go with my skin. And most bronzers that uh, people talk about or YouTubers talk about, they're usually a little too orange for me or they just still look like bronzers. This one, amazing. And it took me a while to buy because in the pictures, it looked very orange or more orange than most that I own already. Uh, however, I don't know what's in the formula, but when it is applied, it looks a little, uh, it looks perfect with my skin. You will see, it gives the shade that I need and the color that I need. I almost could feel like tan which to me is, even with makeup and everything, it just doesn't look natural. So we'll be uh, taking that, and then I'll show you the two highlighters. This is super loaded tinted highlighters. 
even though the ones I show you are creamy, the sticks, these ones are also creamy but powdery. This is a very interesting formula. Uh, and I'll talk more when I'm showing you in my face. I have two colors, Poo the Rose and Poo the Peach. The Peach. 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 Sorry, I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce this. I'm actually originally from Mexico. That's where my accent comes from. What accent? <laughs> and so, <laughs> there you go. One is more brownish, peachy. This one is more, uh, it says pearl the rose, so I guess rose. And then this one is peach the, uh, pearl the peach, so I guess it's more peachy, brownish, but you'll see it on my face, okay? And then I have the Trio eyeshadows. Uh, there are three. And I'll show you the colors. And I have two sets. So we'll be showing you each. I don't want to give you each of their names until we, we get to showing you how they look and what their names and everything else. So the first thing that is interesting about this collection, they have magnets. See, they start repelling right there. So if you want to place them on top of your vanity or something and you put them too close, they start falling because they start repelling. Uh, I think she created this case. It's beautiful where you can place it. It will look like a vanity. To me, I have so much makeup that that would take too much room. So I just put them all in a, in a separate container for Westman Atelier. But, um, so even if I want to carry it in a bag, yeah, they start, I don't know, it's gimmick, I don't know. I don't know why she put the magnets. Everybody talks about the magnet, like it's a great, but I, I, I'm very functional, so I'm still looking for the functionality. I do like this. Whoop. It's also magnet, right? So, that is nice. But, this whole thing, uh, not sure what it's for. Uh, the packaging is beautiful. It's very different. It's very unique. Look at that, right? Um, and so, let's start. All right. So, I don't know what's going on with me today. I wasn't feeling a little off, but now that I have the lights, maybe it's the lights, it's a little getting used to it. You know, I'm new in, in this channel and and I'm, you know, trying different things. I hope this lighting is good. Uh, it's just a ring, um, but it is a little different. <laughs> All right, so why don't we start with the foundation? So I'm gonna start with Atelier One. Now I don't, I do have, two of her brushes, which are these two. Why did I buy these two brushes? I think she has five a set. She has two for the eyes, this, and then one for the foundation. And I don't remember what the other two are, but in any case, I only have two. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. So for the foundation, I mostly use my finger or my hand, or I use this. This is a Natasha Denona, double-ended. Um, and this one is for concealer. So if I really didn't want to use my hand for any reason, it was dirty or whatever, I would use this. Let's see, I'll try both. So the first thing is obviously around my eyes. So she usually puts a little bit here and there between the two. Like I'll show you what she does in the videos. But under my eyes, I need more cover than anywhere else. So that's why you see that I'm putting quite a bit. Because I do want to cover the blue. I could use another concealer and then use this. But I thought I would leave it at Westman Atelier products only. Now, to my understanding, she hasn't come out with a concealer. Because like I said, she uses this. But if you notice, I started with quite, you know, I put some. And I'm not scared to keep going uh, in other places. 
because this stuff really melts to your skin. You'll see, it won't be noticeable. I'm covering a little bit here and there because my nose is the one that gets so red. And so even though you're supposed to conceal, you know, to give it shape and not put white all over, uh, this foundation is so close to my skin that uh, I just like using it like that. And it is a foundation. So if you were putting a regular foundation, you would put it all over, right? Uh, this one, I don't like using it like that. Um, I really don't have a main things in my face that I want to cover up. And so this is why it looks so natural because I only put it where it's too red. I mean, there's some places like I have little freckles, you can barely see, and I don't mind those showing. And in that way, my face uh, looks healthy because I don't have a lot of makeup on. It might even be doubtful if I'm wearing makeup or not with this because you're just covering, you see the red spots or reddish, which is usually in the center of my face. And I think the light I creating something because the two days that I have filmed are bringing a little bit of a red I wouldn't say rush, but you see this redness here? That's a very rare the days that I get it. And now, I thought the first day was just something I ate. But now it's happening again. It might be some of the heat of the light or something. So I just want you to notice that I'm going randomly in the face. I'm not really putting the foundation all over like you would. I'm just looking at my face and putting it on some red or capillaries that show. But I'll tell you something new. I might pull another mirror. <laughs> I rarely use this mirror, right? And I wanted to put to use a big mirror here so I know what I'm doing. And this mirror is, uh, has augmentation. And that's why it's taking me forever. I'm like, oh my God, I'm seeing a lot more than usual. Well, <laughs> that's because this mirror, Mac, you know, Mac, what do you call it? Maximize, magnetize, um, enlarges. So I'm seeing pores, pores and I'm seeing all kind of stuff. That's why. So I don't know if I have another, I do. I will have to go to the bathroom to get it. So I'm not gonna do that. So I'll just, hmm. let's see if this, no, this is not a good mirror. All right, I'll continue with this and then I'll, for next time, I'll think what mirror I can use. All right, so I think I spent a lot of time in the foundation arena, but so that is, Atelier one, and now I'm opening Atelier N. Look at the difference. Atelier one, a little more yellow into it, and Atelier N, it's a little more, what do we call it? Cool, but like, I wouldn't say beige, like, uh, it has, hmm, I call it like cream, but I don't think it's a good description for you. Well, I took a little bit and I'm just gonna place it in other places that I see difference in color, red, little purple. You see, I'm just randomly. So now I'll show you what she does in her videos. So what she does in her videos, she grabs both and then she does something like this. You know, like she keeps mixing just um, a 
Now this is kind of one of the few times I'm doing a sheet request. I just think it's too much trouble um, for my everyday. But all right. So I'm gonna move on. I'll do two swatches real quick. But I don't want to take too long, and we we're just starting. So, oh, you can tell the difference there. You see this? This one is Atelier 1. This is Atelier N. You see what I mean? This is more yellowish. And so this one, because it has a little more pink to it or cream in it, um, you can tell on top of my skin. Yeah. See how as it's setting? Like, let me spread this up a little bit. So this, you can really, it becomes my skin. And this one, it starts looking as if it's on top of my skin because the color is not exact, right? All right, so let's move on. Uh, so I love this, really recommend it. It is something I use very often. All right, so let's go now with the contour. Well, I'll put, no, I'm gonna put this highlighter just a little bit here and here. Ah. I always put a little bit here because of my hooded eye, I want this to be light. And I put a little bit on top, don't ask me why. I think in my mind, I think uh, I wanna, all the light I can get around my eyes. So this is very transparent. I'll do another video with comparisons of other brands and their highlights. Um, I can even do right here. I'll do, I'm sorry I have there a woo-woo that's for my dog. But let's do this. That's lit up. You see? You can barely see, right? But yeah, you can see it. Pearly, but it has a little bit of pink in there. I found by comparing it with another brand. Um, and then we'll put the Nectar highlighter right here. You see the Nectar? It's very transparent, a lot closer to my skin, but it does give you that little bit of peach. And then the other one is more pearl-like. All right. Continuing on, uh, I'm gonna put the Contour Biscuit. Now this is power. This is really, I mean, if I do nothing, I put a little bit like I show you in the foundation, and then I will put this. Why? Because it slims. You see what I did? Yeah. That's the line. That's the line. And then look how, look how easy will be this. So I just go like this. Do, 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 do. I cover all this. I even bring it back a little bit if I need to. But what I want is that create that wow did you see how this kind of rise up a little bit because i did that shadow so i do the same thing over here and remember i bring it back because i want to cover it it's like a triangle like that now i'm going to take a little bit here and i always put it right there because I have hooded eyes, so I start creating some type of hollow. You know, I'm trying to make that look like there's a lot more crease. And you will see me doing that with all the products I put in my face and, and keep layering lightly. So I don't put a lot. And then I will do this maybe and just do like a little line. 
but I barely touching my skin. So it's not like I want it to appear like big makeup. It, I'm like, if any product got in there, it created that illusion. And this trick that the YouTubers do, I'm not even sure it works for my nose or my face, but you know, trends, right? So I start doing it as well. But this one is important. And then some people do it over here and over here to create that shadow. I don't always do that. I mean, I guess it works. Let's do a little bit here, but see, I do it with my finger and I do very lightly because I fear that it will start showing a line, even though, yeah, you, you do a good job blending and all of this stuff. Uh, you see? It's supposed to work. I mean, that's what makeup does. But I, I do very lightly and I'm like, eh, maybe if it works, good. But all right. The next thing I'm going to do is the bronzer. I think she came up with a second shade now. This is very recent. So she came up with more uh, lit up highlight creamy colors and she came up with a second, uh, I think for darker skin uh, kind of bronzer. Now, this was very different in her line because if I show you, most of them are sticks. And so most of them are creamy. And she came up with this. And this, the consistency is very interesting because uh, it's kind of powder, but very subtle. Let's see if you can. Well, I'll put it over here. Let's see. See that? Very subtle. I mean, you can see the difference in my skin, but that's the whole point of, of this kind of bronzer because it's not about changing the color of my skin. So you'll see. So this is her brush, uh, Westman Atelier, and it's called Powder. They are made in Japan. I don't know if they are natural hairs. I think they're not, maybe a mixture. But I did buy this um, for the bronzer. This is what she uses with the bronzer uh, because it's such a particular uh, texture or product that I really wanted to try how she recommends for you to use it, right? So I do this, not very much. Always kick a little bit. And now I'm gonna go She does this a lot. I would never do that with a bronzer, but since she does, and for some reason it works with this product. I mean, look at that. Do you see the difference? Isn't that nice? So let's do the other. If you notice, uh, I do a lot of hair because with this, with any bronzer, I do bring it very close to the roots of my hair. And with this, I might go like this now. Not with the other one, although I did a little bit. And of course, blend, blend, blend. This brush is super soft. I like it. And I actually believe that this brush is perfect for this product. So if I would use a denser brush or any of the other, I mean, I'm sure it works. Like if I would use one of um, Sonia G, you know, bronzer brushes here, um, of course it will work. I mean, it's a brush, but I think this brush is the perfect density, the perfect threads to pick up the product. So, I mean, I hate to say it, but I do recommend this particular brush with that bronzer. Now, I don't use this brush with any other product, so I can't say about using it as your powder brush or whatever. I do like the size. Um, they're smaller than the Sony. You see, yeah, they're shorter. Um, and they're not 
I think they're a little bigger than the Sonia D Kambuki set that I told you that I use all the time because they're travel friendly, they're smaller. So you see, this is the regular Sonia G size. Um, but I think this is worth it for this bronzer. Look, this is like a dream. And I live in Miami. So I want you to see, I have tried many bronzers. I'll do a video with all the comparison of all the bronzers I have. And there's nothing like this where it actually, I look a little bit bronzer and I don't look orange at all. And it looks so natural. Look at that. I mean, if I put just a little tiny of lipstick and I will talk about her natural color um, lit nudes, lip suede in another video when I try the other eyeshadow set that I will be sharing with you. But if I put just a tiny bit of this rose and you see a little rosy and maybe a gloss, that's one thing I don't have from her collection. I haven't bought any of her glosses. The reason being is because I have so many glosses right now. I mean like so many that I wanted to take a little break. But, you know, like this is Charlotte Tilbury. What color is this? This is Porto Bello. I'm just going to put it a little bit because what I want to show you It's how beautiful and how natural. And today I've taken a lot of time putting it on and showing you and you know, the swatches and all. But in my everyday, you know, just covering a little bit, bronzer, the biscuit and that. And it just, I look very natural and to go. But for the sake of this video, let's put a little bit of petal. Now for this, I do use my Sonia G. This is a mini base. This is perfect for creams, especially cream uh, powders. It's awesome. Um, the size of the brush itself, I've heard is the same as if you buy the full size brush, if not almost the same. That's why I didn't buy the full size. I bought this and I do use it quite a bit. So I will do this or I would apply this directly to my skin and then use the brush on top of it. I don't know if you can see. I'm just bringing a little bit of, voila. Isn't that gorgeous? So on that side, I put petal. I think I would use petal the most, but since I'm doing this video, let's put doo-doo on the other side. This one seems a little more plummy, which you would think plummy with the bronzer and all that because it's more towards the orange or the warm what do you think? See, I would have liked just petal today, but it doesn't look bad. And since it melts to your skin, you'll see in a little bit as we speak, you'll see how it just goes into your skin. It looks very natural. So I'm going to put a little bit on this side just to, to equal. And I'll put a little bit of the other one on the other side, just so I can bring some balance. And I want to, I'm not going to use the pop it. I'll put it in the next video so you see a little bit of that uh, because I think it's enough. And then it becomes... Uh, Well, we'll see if we add it to the end because I did want it to show you the Pell the Rose. These are 
super loaded tinted highlights. This is a product that she became uh, famous for, or known for, because the consistency is so different. I don't know anything else that has this kind of texture and consistency. Now you see it's well loved. I've used it. Um, but I'm not sure I get this product. Um, I wouldn't say I will reach for it like, oh my God, I couldn't live without it. But I haven't tried. She has a brush that she uses specifically for this. And the way that brush is, is almost like threads that go some short, some long, some short, so long. So it doesn't look, it's not as dense and you know, you, when I do this, I can really touch all the threads. Like it goes like this and it's kind of in a dump. But uh, on the one she shows that she applies that with, it looks like in and out. I do have one huge brush that will simulate what I'm talking about. It wouldn't work for this product because it's humongous. This is a Pro Dom stippling from Sephora. And I don't know if you can see, you see how it's in and out, in and out. There's some short, long, short, long. This is great for cream products from foundation. And so I think the one she applies this product with is very similar, but in a, you know, more size, a better size and one that fits in here. <laughs> but for now, I'm gonna use this. And so I'm gonna swirl. A lot of people also use it just with their finger. So I'm gonna do this. Do you see the difference? And she usually does a bridge. So again, this is the color Pearl the Rose. So this is more rosy. And so I'm gonna do that again. It's lovely. Again, it gives you these sparkles, and especially here with the ring light, I can see some gold or pearl in it. So I see how it brings the shine and the light, uh, like other highlighters, some of them would do, but it doesn't leave you that powder or that, even though you blend it well, but yeah, you can barely tell it's there, but you do feel the highlight. Let's try, I put very little over here because I just follow it with the leftover, but let's try the Pell the Pet on the other side. And by the way, these two colors are not her original. Her original, I don't remember the name of it right now. I think it's just um, the Soleil, something Pell the Soleil. And it's very bronze-like. Perhaps, since the bronzer works for me, it will work for me. But I always stayed away from it because it felt very dark or darker. More like for a medium light kind of skin. Uh, if you know West Minatelier, she doesn't look like medium skin, but she, her foundation colors, I think she does go in the three, four, which is a very medium, I, I think, coloring. But um, they have more Mediterranean kind of under colors. I'm not a makeup artist. Maybe I'm just talking for no reason. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. But that's what my impression was. So I'm going to try this. It has a little peach on the other side. And keep in mind, I put some of that doo-doo more plummy on the side. And still, these products are, um, you see that? Are really so friendly that you can't go wrong. They are such a melt in your skin and become part of your skin that it would be very difficult to make something that doesn't look right. Do you see that? So what I'm looking as I'm testing with you is that it's just a little tone that changes. This one has a little more pink and this one 
has a little more peach. Do you see that? So I guess it's just maybe what you're wearing or maybe your mood. Um, so I was just looking at the time. So let's see here. Lala, Lala. Oh, what I wanted to say, that's why I stayed quiet in my mind. I'm like, what did I want to say? It's very interesting because you'll never see me wearing uh, uh, something with pattern in my blouse or shirt. And Westman Atelier always comes with like the best sweaters and the best shirts. She's been called on social media about them. And so when I thought of doing her uh, video on her products, I immediately thought, oh, I need to put something with pattern. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know many. And since we were gonna we're gonna be trying the eyeshadows, which has a little brown in it, I thought, ah, oh, well, something with beige or brown. <laughs> so here we go. All right. So what I'm gonna do, I think, um, let me just show you the swatches of this two since we tried them, the two highlighters. And I'm gonna end this video right here. And then. <coughs> excuse me, I'll do a second one, which I'll post right away, where we'll go and continue with the eyes um, and the lips. So you saw a little bit that I put pink, but you see, very natural, I love it. I will probably curl my eyebrows and if you want, put some mascara, and be good to go. Um, all right, so there's one. That's the pink. And put the patch. You see, that looks tanner. And the other one, a little pink tanner peachier warmer warmer that's the word all right guys thank you very much for watching uh we didn't do a full face we'll do the eyes in a different video so westman atelier thank you so much if you like what you see please subscribe and leave me a comment. I want this to be a conversation. That way I know what you want me to try, what you want me to show, how you like me to show it. And if there's anything you like, uh, let me know. That will be very helpful. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.